These moms thought they were on a dream vacation in paradise until it turned into the holiday from hell. I ran and I was screaming. Amber Shear and her best friend Dongela Dobson were on a mom's getaway, taking a carnival cruise to the Bahamas. No kids, no men, just us. Like we're back at 4-H camp. That's where we met, 4-H camp in fourth grade. The two moms say they were having a great time until the last day of their vacation. That's when they left the cruise ship and went ashore. They say they were looking for seashells on the beach when a staff member from the resort offered them a two for one drink special, which they accepted. Then another staff member said he could guide them to where the best shells were located. It was the worst decision we've ever made. We noticed like we're, we're starting to feel these drinks pretty strongly. Do you think those drinks were drugged? Oh, most certainly. They absolutely were drugged. The friends tell me they have only limited memories of what happened next. I came to being raped by my assailant. I remember being pushed down. Um, I vaguely remember the guy's face and the facial hair. The mom say they were both left covered in bruises and tested positive for the presence of sedatives and other drugs back on the ship. The mom's ordeal comes less than two weeks after the U.S. State Department issued a level two advisory warning American tourists to exercise increased caution in the Bahamas due to crime. 18 people were slain just in January, most victims of gang warfare. Were you aware of the State Department travel warning for tourists? No. After we left the infirmary back to our rooms, after we have done full rape kits, that's when our family notified us. Nicholas Gerson is their attorney. The law requires cruise lines to warn about dangerous conditions that they know or should have known about. Bahamian police say they have arrested two suspects. Carnival says they routinely share guidance to guests about keeping safe while on shore, adding that they are cooperating with the Bahamian police in the investigation.